good Tuesday morning, everyone. I, I hope that your Tuesday morning is good. I hope it is going well. I hope your week has been great so far and nothing too, too crazy has been taking place. But I want to take this time and thank you for tuning in to the latest episode of Tuesday Talks. You know, when I started this a couple of weeks ago, my goal is just to uh, just give you a three to five minute devotional talk, maybe on something we talked about here at church, maybe something else that have come on and something in the world. And, and that's kind of what I want to talk to you today about. In the last 24 or 36 hours, probably most of you have seen, whether it's on social media, maybe it has been through a news article or a news story about the confrontation that took place at the Oscars Sunday night between comedian Chris Rock and the actor Will Smith. And I really don't want to get into what happened, what caused that confrontation, because honestly, we could give a lot of devotional talks about what took place. But really, I want to talk to you about something that wasn't said by Chris Rock, nor by Will Smith. It was actually said during the commercial break that we couldn't see between the actor Denzel Washington to Will Smith. And Will Smith did talk about it when he went up on stage to get his Academy Award. But Denzel Washington said this to him. And he says, at your highest moment, be careful because that's when the devil comes for you. And, you know, out of everything that happened tonight, that's definitely the most profound statement I think that could have been said. But it got me thinking over these last couple of days of, you know, that's really true. When we get to our highest moments in our life, our spiritual life and walking with God, that's when we have to get, we have to be careful. You know, there are a lot of successes that you and I can share and kind of enjoy in life. And that reminded me kind of of what Solomon said in Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 18 when he says, you be careful because pride goes before destruction. Be careful of thinking yourself too highly because that's when things come in. Perhaps that's why Peter said in 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8 that you and I need to be careful. We need to be watchful, be sober, be vigilant, depending on which translation you're using. He says, because your adversary, the devil, prowls around as a roaring, roaring lion seeking someone to devour, looking for someone. And it really got my mind thinking about everything. You know, when we get in our high moments and we're walking with God and things are just going well, sometimes we let our guard down. Or sometimes maybe that pride creep, creeps in or our egos creep in a little bit that we kind of think, eh, I got this. I, I can handle this. That's why Paul says, remember, our wrestle, our fight in life isn't against flesh and blood, but it's against the spiritual battle that we rage. That's Ephesians chapter 6. And I think that is why we have to be careful. We have to be watchful. We need to watch and look at our lives every single day. I think that's why we, even when we come to take the Lord's Supper in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, Paul says we got to examine ourselves. And every day we need to examine ourselves to see where we're at, to make sure we're keeping our right attitudes, that we are being humble, that we are being servant-led and, and being a servant to other people, that we're, as we talked about Sunday, instilling good values in, in, in other people's lives because we're living them in our lives. Lives. And I think about what the, the wisest man who ever lived said in the book of Ecclesiastes, Solomon. You know, he talks about uh, everything in life is vanity, and he goes to this whole section, but he comes to the last chapter, and he says, you really want to know what the life of man is all about? He said, let me tell you what it's about. Fear God, honor him, love him, respect him, stand in awe of him, fear him, keep his commandments. We love him. We serve him. We obey him because this is the whole duty of man. And I promise you this, if we will keep that in mind. You know, as when Jesus was having that discussion in Matthew 22 with the lawyer that where's the greatest commandment? Love God with everything you have, heart, soul, strength, and mind. And what was the second? Love your neighbor as yourself. And if we will do those two things, Pride will have a hard time creeping in, and the devil will have a hard time attacking us. So be watchful out there, and I hope that, that this will help you through your week, that your day will be fantastic, and look for ways to serve people, and look for ways to lift other people up other than ourselves. Have a great rest of this week. We will see you next week on Tuesday Talks.